Hi, my name is Maxim. I will show you how you can do that with your own helix. Alright, so before I show you how I, I set up the helix, uh, let me tell you how I got the idea. I was reading an article about Brian Eno and his work uh, on ambient music, uh, specifically his work on albums such as discrete music and music for airports. And in that article they were describing his, uh, his own process and where he was using tone generators and some tape delays to make it uh, like a looper. So after that an idea popped into my head and I thought to myself well can I do the same thing with the helix knowing that you have within it it's uh, a three node generator. And the idea was to transform the helix to some kind of uh, synthesizer without using any guitar at all. So let's jump to HX edits and I'll show you how you can achieve the same result. All right, so here we are in HX edits and I will show you how to get the, the patch I used in a previous video. Two main blocks uh, you want to use here is a pitch synth one and a delay one. Uh, regarding the, the pitch, because we, we want to, to create and use the helix as a, a synthesizer without plugging any instruments, you want to use the three node generator. So you can find the three node generator on the pitch synth and on the, you can choose three node generator. That's how uh, we can simulate the synthesizer and create, uh, basically we are going to create a scale. So for that patch, I was going with something very simple which is to create uh, just a basic pentatonic scale. So as you can see uh, on the, the first path, I have just five uh, blocks, five three note generator blocks to create my five note pentatonic scale. Even though it's a three note generator, uh, we are going to use only one note of the three. So you can see uh, for my first block, uh, I have only the first one which is active and I cut off, cut off the, the levels of note two and note three here. So I'm using only one note uh, I was going, uh, I'm going for a, a C major pentatonic, so for the note I choose a C, obviously, and I leave the octave uh, at 3. Uh, I, can, I will show you later how to get multiple octaves. So for the second block, I will have the second note of my pentatonic scale, uh, C major pentatonic scale, so uh, still using just one note from the three note generator. Uh, that note would be uh, D because my C major pentatonic scale is uh, would be the note C, D, E, G, A. So for the third block I will have an E. The fourth would be a G and the fifth would be 
an A. All right, all the five notes being at the same octave, octave three in this block. So the way you can use your helix uh, as, a, as an instrument is to assign all the five uh, blocks to a foot switch. So each time I'm pressing on the, on the foot switch, it activates or bypass the, the block. So now we have our five note pentatonic scale, but within just one octave. What you want to do is uh, have that scale but over different octaves. So how you can have your pentatonic scale but over multiple octaves. That's where the snapshots are coming to play. Because you will use the snapshots function of the helix to get that uh, multiple octave scale. So as you can see, I have snapshot 1 to set up to octave 3. So make sure you enable the snapshot function for the, the control of the, of the octave within the 3 node generator block. So once that is enabled, you can change snapshots and change the octave of your notes. And you can do that multiple times so you will have a, um, a scale within several octaves. Obviously, you can choose to change different parameters, so it's up to you, be creative with it. So with this snapshot setup, you can change uh, using the, um, the up and down arrows switch on your helix to change the octaves of your scale. Alright, so second most important block you want to use is the delay block. So it's with that delay block that you will have the repetition, the looper effect. So back in the day, Brian Eno was using two tape recorders to get his looping effect. But nowadays we can use something else and within the, the Helix you can use any delay you want. Uh, the main thing you want to, to have is a, a long enough delay time to get the repetitions. So for this patch, I was using the Vintage Digital Delay. One you want to have is a delay block with enough delay time because you want to have a delay between like 4 or, or 6 or 7 seconds. So I set the time to 6 seconds. The feedback is nearly 100%, so it's up to you uh, if you want a longer repetitions or less repetitions. And that's basically it. Um, the 3 node generator and the delay. Uh, for that patch I, uh, I used a, a reverb, so you can use any reverb you want. And you can also experiment with different uh, effects. I used here um, a fuzz. I used also uh, that, that block, Ubiquitous Vibe. And I used the Seeker filter. Just in order to, to, to get some variations and some different timbre. So you can experiment with that, uh, use any block, any effect you want, but basically you want to have that, the three node generator and the delay. Uh, for that case I uh, did a, a pentatonic scale, but obviously you can do uh, a seven note scale, a six note scale, whatever you want. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel uh, granted that it's a French channel, my most uh, videos on it are in French, but I think I'll do probably more videos in English as well. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post videos of me playing the guitar and I also post mm, guitar leaks and all that good stuff. 
and if you happen to create some videos using the technique I'll show you in this video please let me know you can tag me on Instagram and uh, I'd be happy to see what you did with it thanks again for watching and I see you another time merci